And there's some spiritual disciplines that, that we have to incorporate into our lives. But when we want to move to the adult table, there's some things that we've got to do to be up here. Just like if we want to move from Pop Warner football to the pros, there's some things we've got to learn along the way, right? We would never put a child out there against those guys. Why? Because they're going to get hurt. But we're content to do that time and time again in the church. And we wonder why people leave the church and they get hurt and they don't because we haven't trained them up in the Word of God. We aren't, we aren't letting them experience the fullness of God. Why? Because it takes discipline. And I, I want to read a passage of scripture for you that talks about this discipline and the, and the pain that exists. Uh, I mean, just think about sports, any sport that you've ever played. Your body has to go through a training. It goes through this process of, of pain. And nobody likes that. But if you don't do that, you're not going to be prepared for the, the, the elements that the game, whatever sport you're playing, is going to give you. So this is what James tells us in his book. James 1, 2 through 3, through 3 says this, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and my sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds. He's guaranteeing you, you're going to face trials. You're going to face difficulties. You're going to face hardships. You're going to face the difficulties of life. Because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. That's the only way you're going to get from here to there. The testing of your disciplines is going to develop perseverance. Keep going. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature. Do you see this idea? God never intends for us to stay here. He wants us at this table. But life throws us some things that we don't get out of this table. He says he wants to be mature, complete, not lacking anything. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Keep going. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. Now think about that. Go back to the, next, the, the previous one real quick. So think about that. that. You're blown back and forth, tossed by the waves of the sea. If you ask God for wisdom, what's that wisdom for? A lot of people use this verse inappropriately, that if I just ask God, he'll give me anything that I'm asking for. That's the childish faith. That's not what this verse said. He said if you ask God for wisdom, what's he talking about here? Wisdom in the midst of the trials. You see what happens so many times when we're at the children's table, when we're stuck in that storm or that trial or tribulation, we spend our time begging God to take it away. The mature Christian at the adult table is going to say, Lord, Give me wisdom as I go through this storm. Help me to learn what it is that you want me to learn through this. Give me insight into this. There's a big difference in a childish prayer versus an immer- a mature prayer. And that's what's happening here. It, and what it's saying here is if you ask God that, he's going to give you insight into the trouble or the difficulty or whatever it is that's trying your faith or trying your disciplines or trying your uh, whatever, the, whatever it may be that you're praying about. We need to ask God for wisdom in the midst of it, not for him to just take it away. Because what happens is if he just takes it away, then we stay in arrested development. If we ask for wisdom, then we grow out of it and we're able to see the fullness of what God has for us. Do you see the difference? It's, it's fascinating when we actually begin to implement this into our spiritual lives, and that's all part of the maturity, maturing process. But it takes some, it takes some pain. It takes some persistence. We have to, we have to push through those disciplines. We gotta, we've got to push past all those hurts. We've got to push past all those trials. I mean, think about the disciples, right? So, so, so that we don't get discouraged in the midst of this. And, and I'm not to the difficult part yet, really. Uh, but I, wanna, I want us to really identify with the fact that we're in good company. So imagine, remember Jesus and the disciples. Hey, in the story when, when Jesus is in the boat and, and they're, they're facing all the waves and the waves are crashing down and the, the disciples think they're going to they're gonna drown and they're, they're taking the buckets and they're bailing the water out and they look at each other and they're like, where's Jesus? I don't know, he's sleeping. We'll go wake him up. And so they go down there and like, Jesus, 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 what? We're going to drown. He goes, oh, Man, why didn't you tell me? You should have come got me earlier, right? In that way, he's like, oh, guys, if you just would have told me, I could have kept you from it. If you just told me, guys, I could have, I could have handled this for you all. I would have cut this up into bite-sized pieces so you didn't have to deal with this. If you read the Bible, you know I'm totally wrong. That's not what he said. You know, do you remember? Oh, let me remind you what he said. He said, 
How long do I have to put up with you guys? That's not the encouragement that we want to think that he would be saying, right? He's like, you don't have any faith. How little faith you have. And then he quiets the storm. You see, that's what we do at the table over here in the childlike table. We ask God, God, take the storm away. And God's like, how long do I have to put up with you guys? And this is what he said to the guys that he built the church upon. So when you, if you find yourself here, don't get discouraged. Just don't be content to stay there. Right? Be honest with yourselves, but don't stay there. Right? This, is, this is what Jesus was saying there. He was giving us that model, don't stay there. Now.